Hi, I'm Whoopi Goldberg. You know, when I was a kid, television was my window to the world. And because of it, I was lucky enough to see a performer who you may or may not remember. I thought of her as one of the funniest women in the world. Her name was Mom's Mabler. And the thing I remember most was the fact that I had never seen anyone talk without teeth before. Good evening, honey. Just don't get all carried away. Did you hear the one about the two women who was walking down the street? One turned to the other one and said, I smell hair burning. The other one said, maybe we're walking too fast. <laughs> And don't you know the sensor lady just dropped her drawers? <laughs> and did you hear the one about, about the woman who was in the hospital dying? Her husband come to the hospital, honey, she wanted to make a confession to him, you know? So he went over to the hospital just to cry. She said, honey, I'm dying. He said, yes, I know. She said, but I got a confession to make to you before I go. She said, I ain't been true to you. He said, yes. I know. She said, but I've been running around with other men, fooling around. He said, yes, I know. That's why I poisoned you. <laughs> well, that's because everybody's crazy nowadays, huh? I mean, you, did you ever see anybody acting normal? It's probably because they just ain't well. You know, not like the good old days, honey. I know about the good old days, yes. But I wasn't nothing but a child. A child, 14 going on 15, honey and just as cute as I want to be. <laughs> yeah, honey, hair just hanging down my back, you know, cause I'm half Indian. The beauty parlor take care of the other half, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and my father made me marry this old, dead, puny, moldy man. <laughs> I mean, he was an old man, honey. Santa Claus looked like his son. <laughs> he was older than his mother. I'm telling you, that man was so old that when we went to his sister funeral, after the funeral, the minister come walking over to him, tapped him on the back and said, how old are you, Pops? Pops said, nine to one. Minister said, ain't no use in you even going home. <laughs> yes, honey, I thought he never would die. Yes, I thought he never would die. You know, rat poison agreed with him. I shouldn't talk that way about the dead, should I? No. Cause they tell you, you mustn't say nothing about the dead unless you could say something good. He dead, good. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I know he dead, cause I had him cremated. Yeah, till they burned him up. I was determined he was gonna get hot one time anyway. Yeah, that's why I don't like no old man. Cause there ain't nothing an old man can do for me except bring me a message from a young man. <laughs> 